Happy Thursday. I actually kind of forgot what day it was and it is Thursday, isn't it? I can't believe it's Thursday. I said that. I've the first things I said to my husband this morning. I can't believe it's Thursday. Where's the week going, love? It's these school strikes. They've got me all over the place. There's no routine, you know? There's no routine. There really isn't. Anyway, welcome back to the latest episode of The Laura and Becky Show. We are sponsored by Redbrook Estate Agents, Ringwood Hall Hotel and Spa and Clubhouse at Meadowhall, which is where we are going today. We are. Do a bit of bowling. We're taking the kids because they're off school and they're driving us crazy. Um, My child yesterday got set no work. By the way, welcome to the pod, guys. Um, (laughs) Before we start kicking off. Yeah, Uh, (laughs) yeah, the photo goes like tits up. But no, no work set. Nothing. Naff all. Do they normally have work set on strike days? Yep, for secondary school, yeah. Oh, if your teachers aren't on school, I was something or other. So I took um, Rosie, my 14-year-old, and Grace, my 18-year-old, into town. I was like, let's just go and have a one round town, get a coffee, brother. They Mm. argued the whole way round to the point where, where I was getting the ticket for the car park, I literally, there's a woman next to to me, I could hear them bickering in the background. I just turned around and went, will you both shut up? And this woman was like, oh, oh." I was like, oh, I'm ever so sorry, love. Sorry, it's just my kids. Just having a meltdown with the children. See, I don't have this because I've got one. Oh. Yeah, she just argues with me. It's like, she pulled my sleeve. I was like, how old are you two? <laughs> they even like, like, I'm going to sit in the front. I just thought, oh, Jesus Christ. For context, your one is 18. Your one. Your, your one. Your old, so yeah, your the eldest, eldest one yeah. is 18 and your youngest one is 14 now? Yeah, 14 year old. Mm. Dear God, dear God, um, I can't breathe, speak, look. I, I can't do anything. I can't do anything without her just being like, oh. <laughs> It's, it's that stage, isn't it? Like oh everything a parent does oh is embarrassing. I poured some Cheerios into her bowl this morning for her, like like a fucking servant. Would you like some breakfast, yeah. darling? <laughs> poured her Cheerios in. She's like, oh, too fast, too much. I was like, what? So, can I just ask why she's not pouring her own Cheerios? I, I don't her know own because she bowl? was just like peeling this satsuma. It's just annoying me. I went, have some Cheerios. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to make me and she's just like, oh, oh, you don't pour Cheerios like that. I was just like, oh. So basically, this is a public announcement, isn't yeah. it? Can the teachers please come back to school so that please. our children... Please. Can... I'll pay you. Yeah. <laughs> what's, what's, yeah. The, what's the money they we'll, want? We'll pay you a bit more. Yeah, just so our kids can be back at school and we're not having to wait on them hand and foot, but, please. But go, teachers, go. Yeah? Y- go, yes. teachers, go. Go? Yes. Go, go on. Yes. Whatever. You, you suck Go it for it, them, teachers. Guys. But Jesus Christ, come back, please. Um, I've actually got a little, um, vo- no, I haven't. Uh, no, no, that's not on the list next. <laughs> I'm losing my mind. Okay. Nipple cream. Right. <laughs> I'm not being funny. I don't know if I'm late to the party on this, but oh my God, my lips feel amazing. Do they? Becky? Yes. Is it better than the Elizabeth Arden eight yeah. hour cream? And Laura's literally <laughs> looking yeah. at her lips. Uh, honestly, I can feel the moisture the restoration happening it, it doesn't dry out you know some some i mm. can't tell you and i don't know if i'm really late to the party or if if lots of people do this i never heard about it before you mentioned it right. the i've not been putting nipple cream on my lips ironically i never used nipple cream on my nipples i don't think i, I did, did but honestly also you look beautiful all the time, right? And you, you're you always reapplying your lipstick. Always. <laughs> always. Yeah. It fascinates me when you do it. And then I start thinking, should I should I do it? <laughs> but then I can't do it because I look like I'm copying you. <laughs> so I just let you go on with it. We but I'm like each other with everything if, else. Don't I worry used, about it. I used to have a friend called Tori that was very pretty as well. And she, I used to watch her and be like, oh, God, how did she remember to do it? Mate, I put lipstick on in the morning. That's it for the day for me. I have to have something Why on my lips that? at all times. I have to. If I don't have something on my lips, it feels really odd. You it's feel naked. Feeling. Do you know what? It's not even that. It's the actual feeling on my lips. Oh, yeah. Right. Well. So that's why. But then this happens. Yeah, on this, your cup. This is a dirty. constant. Dirty. She dirty. She, she dirty. It's a constant problem. Like me and Laura have the same um, Starbucks yeah. cups that we use. We always know which one is mine because it's covered dirty. in lipstick. Um, this is a bit of a tip as well. What's my life hack? Um, I once asked on Instagram story years ago. I remember I was what? Oh, uh, Should I start again? You're right. <laughs> I once asked on an Instagram story, 
if anyone knew the perfect shade of lipstick, because I've never found it. Mm -hmm. I like the Charlotte Tilbury pillow talk, don't get me wrong, it's a banging yeah. lipstick, but I put it on. I like the colour of my lips. Mm -hmm. It sounds a bit arrogant, but I like them, right? Yeah. So I wear, that's why I wear lip balm and clear lip gloss a lot, because I never find a nicer colour than yeah. my own lips, yeah. guys. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then um, <clears throat> a lady, um, actually. Who? Oh, Do you remember her? Yes, yeah. yes, 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 yes. Um, messaged me and she went, oh, the perfect shade of lipstick for you is the colour of your nipples. Yeah, now I've heard this as well. Yeah. 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 And it's meant to be like the skin, I think you were saying this the other day, the skin is very similar, similar isn't yeah. it? Yeah, so all you need to do is, I don't know how you do it. Yeah, go into Charlotte your Tilbury. Up, your be like, yeah, or be like, ladies, <laughs> have you got a shade in Yeah, in imagine if you just yeah. flat, flashed your boob. Nip, nip colour. <laughs> yeah, isn't that interesting though? Yeah, But there we go. Is. Anyway, what I would say is nipple cream tick so far. Is the one. Is it cheaper than yeah. Elizabeth Arden eight hour cream? My little tube that yeah. actually looks like it. Cause that's another thing when you're, when you're in public, you want to get a big <laughs> nip cream out, do you start rubbing your, <laughs> rubbing your lips on it. <laughs> no, it looks quite discreet. It, it looks, looks like, like a lip balm. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, how much was it? Six pounds 50 and I got it from Boots. Okay. That's literally like half the price of the Elizabeth Arden. There you go, go get your nipple cream ladies. <laughs> Would you like an update on my heating? Yes, please. So I am now two and a half days into this not having the heating on business, right? <laughs> She's no. two and a half days in, guys. We're three months in. <laughs> I think I've got a cold house. My house, yeah, honestly, it takes quite a lot to heat my Actually, house. Actually... Yeah, that people do have cold houses. It, it definitely is. Like my apartment I used to have obviously smaller and blah blah blah. It was a newer build and everything. That was easy to heat. And you were at the top, mate. Heat rises. Yes. You still had your heating on full blast, but I, I did. But it was very very quick and easy to heat. My house now it takes a good hour to like start warming up. And I have to bleed my radiators all the time. This morning bleeding my radiators. Anyhow, what? Hang on. Yeah. What? I have to bleed my radiators probably every two weeks. Yeah, and just air comes out because. Every time. Yeah, I'm just bleeding, bleeding, bleeding. <laughs> Constantly. Uh, yeah. That's so I, th you I need think to get there's a bit of uh, an air bubble. issue. Yeah, bubble I issue. I didn't actually know what bleeding the radio is. What? Oh, God, my God. Yeah. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> yeah. No, I've I've learned how to do it, and I'm. Constantly... I don't think you should have to do that. To what? It shouldn't be that often, I think. But there's obviously some sort of like yeah. air issue. And anyway, okay. anyway, I mean, listen, I'm no plumber, guys, but <laughs> I think there might be an issue with my radiators. So the house doesn't feel really, really hot when the heating's on. Anyway, I'm a very cold person. I like it. We've, to be warm. we've established this. I mean, last night was hell on earth. The voice for me. notes you sent me, I was like, oh dear God. Oh dear God. I was depressed <laughs> last night. I was in layers. I had a very cold nose and I was depressed. <laughs> and I thought, I can't do this anymore. But I stuck to it last night and I, I, I thought, yep, yeah, come on, Becky, you made a tougher stuff than this. Stuck to it. So then I went to bed last night, started Googling how to do the timer on my thermostat, right? Oh, uh, who? Uh, 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 never. I can't understand my thermostat. I don't get it. I couldn't get to the I bottom of it. I hate it. Yeah, it boggled Why my brain. Why are they brain. so complicated? Why do they make them so complicated? I don't know, but honestly, I nearly threw the yeah, thermostat I'm out of the there. window last yeah. night. Well, so you probably should that. love. I know. <laughs> <laughs> then I wouldn't have put it on. Yeah. But this morning I thought, I can't get up and be grumpy and cold again. So I thought, I'm going to put the heat on for a couple of hours. Mate, best decision oh, I've ever You can put made. it on for a couple of hours. You don't need to be stony cold all the time. I know. And, also, and we were talking about this. This time, uh, three years ago when lockdown oh. was beginning, the weather was lovely. It was very spring-like. This weather it's this horrible yeah it's horrible it's quite cold it's depressing i'm gonna have to start putting the heating on for a couple of Do hours it. in the morning anyway i was in a really good mood this morning <laughs> i was skipping about the place getting ready but then i sort of started having a few little stresses as i was, as I was leaving the house anyway um got lily because obviously it's school strike so lily was in the car with me and got her in the car was why why do women have so many bags and so many oh, things when know. they get into the car? Yeah, it's like squeezing through a small hole, isn't it? Trying to get yeah. through the door of your car in like the morning. Men literally have nothing. They just get in the car, they put the engine on, they drive off. I'm literally, like, literally getting loads of bags, putting them down, dropping everything. I don't know what I carry around with me. Anyway, got into the car and I thought, I'll have a little gingerbread man with my coffee on the way into work this morning. Becky's gingerbread man, by the way. It's like, it's like drugs. <laughs> we went to Starbucks today. She looked at me and she went, you want a gingerbread man? I was like, well, where are they? She went, I'll get them out. <laughs> sneaked me over a little here, here he came here he comes across the table 
sneaked over. Aren't they delicious though? They are delicious, especially with coffee. Yeah, it's just a little hit, isn't it? And I yeah. carry them in my bag at most times yeah. if anybody wants, wants one. one. Yeah, just, you know, give me the look, the nod, the wink, and I'll get a gingerbread man out for you. <laughs> um, anyway, I had one this morning. I had it on top of my um, coffee cup and then accidentally knocked it. So I was putting my belt on it, slipped down to a really dirty part of my car where it doesn't get cleaned. You know, it was all that hairs and fluff yeah. and stuff. I lost my mind. <laughs> Poor old Lily had to witness the whole thing. I went, ah! <laughs> <laughs> and I picked up the gingerbread man from the dirty place it had fallen to. And it was obviously covered in fluff. I thought, I can't eat that. I opened my passenger door window. We were parked on my driveway at this point. I oh, got the gingerbread no. man and I locked Loved him it. at the wall. Lily went, mummy. <laughs> and I went, ah! <laughs> And it just made me feel better lobbing this little gingerbread man at the wall. Love it. And then um, we drove here to the podcast. Me and Lily didn't say anything else about the incident. And we got here and then I was setting her up on her iPad in the next room to this studio. And I went, I'm really sorry, babe, that you had to see that. This one. I'm really sorry that lost it. She went, it's okay, mummy. She went, but that poor little guy. She went, you lobbed him at that wall. <laughs> I was like, oh, no, sorry. Do you actually think he's like lying there now like, oh... Probably like, first headless. of all, he was, like, down a little crack in your car next to some hair. Now he's, like, headless next to a wall. I know. Imagine if you were, like, on your way to therapy or something, and the therapist's like, so, Becky, why are you so stressed today? Be like, oh, well, my gingerbread man <laughs> fell off the top of my coffee cup in the car. <laughs> She'll be like, oh, OK, right. Yeah, that's what tips you over the edge, is it? Yeah. yeah. Are you sure Hockey you're all right? Oh, right, what you got going on? Oh God, what is We've it? We've forgotten the name of What's it. Again, going on? We? Um, what, what, what you, you doing? Up to? What you up to? There we go. So we have got a voice note. If I can just find it, um, from lovely Laura, who is a regular listener to the podcast. Okay. Um, she's a little bit worried. Here we go. Morning, guys. Hope you're well. It's Laura here. You're one of your little ferals. Um, I'm just having a bit of a freak out this morning because I'm going away on Sunday. How the hell am I going to listen to the podcast? Um, what's going on? Like, what am I going to do? How am I going to download this? I'm going to have to find Wi-Fi wherever I can to try and listen to you guys. I can't go a full week without listening to the podcast. <laughs> Not at all. Um, any suggestions? Let me know. I need my daily dose of the Becky and Laura show. Mm. Thanks, lovelies. Bye. Oh, God. God she did it. sound a little bit panicked there, didn't she? She was a bit, oh, oh, oh. Okay, well, first of all, I would be like, don't panic. There's Wi-Fi everywhere in the world. Yeah, um, relax. I'm where's sure she you're... on holiday? Yeah. <laughs> Are That's... you going to a hut in the middle of the yeah, desert? Yeah, I think, basically, Laura, wherever you've got Wi-Fi, mate, it's, it works the same. Yeah, oh, and I've... you use that Wi-Fi. You yeah, wait till you get there, get on their Have Wi-Fi. Have you not got 4G, 5G? Or was it going to cost her money? Yeah, maybe she doesn't want to be dating going? roaming. Where's Laura off on. to? Um, I do know because I did ask her. She's going to Monaco. Like, Monaco will have Wi Fi. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're not going Hang to on, let me just Mongolia. call them. Let me just ring them up. Hello, Monaco. Do you have Wi Fi? I think you'll be fine. Uh, we- otherwise, <laughs> listen, we can email you. You know, you just let us know. But I'm pretty sure. There'll yeah. be Wi-Fi in Monaco. Laura, Very nice, by the way, Laura. Where there's a will, there there's is a... a way. But I would say, you know, use that Wi-Fi and download all of our episodes. That's download every single one, Laura. Yeah. Um, you'll be fine. But I'm glad that she was panicked about not being able to listen to us. That makes me quite happy. <laughs> Good. <laughs> <laughs> right, what's going on in the world? Oh, my God. Does Megan Trainer know how to write a catchy pop song? Doesn't she? I swear to God, <laughs> you know, your inner jukebox that you have, yeah, mm. that just plays music constantly. You can just like, you've got a song, that song, I'm not your mother. No, is this the one you played to me the other day? Yeah. Mate, I can't stop. I, I go to sleep. I can hear it. I woke up this morning. <laughs> I was like, I can still hear it. She, it's genius because what she does is she, she, she is for TikTok, basically. It streams on TikTok. Yes. So there's these two girls, Jessie and I can't remember their names. They do little dances and a lot of them to Megan Trainer's um, music. Mm. So they've done one. I mean, they've, she's flown the, these girls. This is the beauty of TikTok. She's flown these two girls out to Sydney. Oh, no way. Yeah, and they're doing the dance with her, at, you know, in front of the Sydney Opera House. Is this the one that Chris Jenner Chris is Jen- in the music Chris video? Chris Jenner in the video. Tick. It's all on TikTok. Tick. Like, isn't it weird how it's changed? Like, remember back in the day, we used to sit down and listen to the uh, the Big Top 40, who was number oh, it's one. Not that anymore. But now, you can't really have a number one unless there's a dance to it and it's trending on TikTok. Like, that is now how we know about new songs. Yeah. Mate, you listen to that song. I swear to God, it you will not get it out of your mind. I, I love a bit of Megan Trainer. Yeah. 
Oh, was there a song before? I can have my Gucci. Uh, uh, yeah, that as well. Yeah, it. there's a dance to that. We all knew it. Mm-hmm. Um, also, do you know how you're supposed to get a song out of your head? I thought we, I think we've talked about this on our radio show. I think I remember. What's it called? It's called an earworm, isn't it? When you've got a song. Like I think going you right told me this, how to get rid of it. Oh, I? I'm sure you told me. You're supposed to chew gum, aren't you? I'm sure you told um, me this. Actually, yes, I read something this like that. Or there's something online. else that you do. But yeah, I think chewing gum will stop yeah. the song that's going around in your head. Or just listen to another song and get that going around. I don't know if that works though. Honestly, listen to it. I bet you any money, it won't go out of your head. Okay. (laughs) Mate. Right. T minus two weeks and four, five days until I'm off on my holidays. I'm so jealous and I'm also so worried about you being away for two weeks. Two and a half weeks. Laura's going to Florida. Yeah. I am. (laughs) Can't (laughs) wait. I am. (laughs) Um, so I have animals. I have fish, snake, a snake, a dog, and chickens. Okay, I'm sorry, but what a what a random little collection you've got there. The fish I'm not worried about. The fish have been alive for seven years. Two little goldfish. I don't know when they're going to die, but they're fine. Yeah. Um, the snake is is okay. Uh, yeah, the snake will be fine. Just gets fed once a week, so mm-hmm. that's easy. Oh, easy. The dog is going to my mum's. Fine. My mum, about three weeks ago, was like, by the way, uh, the chickens. And I was like, yep. And she's like, so I think we're going to go away the second week you're away. So you need to find someone else to look after your chickens. So Linda was meant to be looking after mm-hmm. the chickens. She is oh, the, she's, the chicken sitter. But yeah. she's going off on her jollies. She's decided she's oh. not going to chicken sit. Oh, that is really dear. hard to say. Yeah, isn't it? Chicken, chicken sitter. sitter. Say it really quickly. Chicken sitter. Chicken sitter. So I need <laughs> I need a chicken sitter. Okay, this Are is a public... Me? No. Oh, <laughs> are you asking me? No, because I think you're away, aren't you? I'm away the second week. Yes, of no the Easter good to holiday. me. Ah, so is my mum. I, I'm serious. I need a chicken sitter. If if okay, anybody if you're wants a lover some, of chickens, if you love chickens, my chickens are lovely. I love my chickens. Like they're great. They're no fuss. Yeah, I guess you they're just, not much work, are they? Really? Not really. Just need to let them out in the morning. Put them away at night. Make sure they've got water and food. It's literally, uh, it's literally a five minute job. Okay. Okay. What about? And um, you can have the eggs. Oh. Free e- oh no yeah guys free eggs there's guys a freebie. there's a freebie involved uh, i'm not even joking i need a chicken sitter okay <laughs> what about um that, they'll die your daughter's boyfriend Is yeah he i not- did think about him yeah um maybe but do i trust a 17 year old boy to look after my chickens mm. probably not yeah or I could ask my neighbours, but then if they don't want to it's a bit awkward because i live next to them yeah yeah, yeah do you know yeah. what i mean yeah so I'm just going to put it out there in the universe because that's what you're supposed to do, isn't it? Let's manifest a chicken yeah. sitter. I need a chicken <laughs> sitter. I don't mind if you want to spend time with the chickens, if you want to pick up a chicken, if you you know, do whatever you want, kind of. Well, not to whatever a degree. you want. I mean, don't, <laughs> with the chicken, don't roast them. Or, oh no! Yeah, no don't have don't them for your eat Sunday them. Roast. They no. don't fly away. Their wings have been clipped. You'll be fine. You get lovely, fresh, organic. Are they organic eggs? If they're don't know if they're organic. What's... Free range? No, are they? I don't know. Anyway, you get lovely eggs. Get lovely fresh <laughs> eggs. Yeah, and they do one, you know, you get three eggs a day. What's that? How much are eggs at the moment? I mean, the price of everything has gone up. Right. So, yeah. So it's going to um, probably okay. save you some money and yeah. there's joy in it. And you can look in my back garden. Also, if you like gardening, <laughs> crack on with that while you're there too. Okay. If you want to wash cars, I could wash your cars whilst oh, you're no. away. Oh, no. Abs- oh. oh, no, your you met husband. my husband. Sorry, no, he is in charge of those oh, cars, God, isn't don't he? touch the cars. <laughs> Every time I get into Laura's car, I'm like, it's so clean, Laura. She's like, he's obsessed. God. He's been in here again. <laughs> um, also, if you like stripping wallpaper, there's a couple of rooms. So basically... <laughs> you're looking for a bit of... Um... Uh, a housekeeper. <laughs> okay? Exactly Forget chicken sitter. For. <laughs> Let's go. A housekeeper that's good at decorating, gardening, can look after my chickens and gets paid in eggs. And actually, in fact, <laughs> if I'm away that week as well, could they then pop to my house yeah. afterwards and just do things Bleed the radiators. Bleed the radiators. Yeah. yeah. Um, and anything else that you Yeah, your garden, you need your patio doing. Yes, I can finish that off. Help, help, help us out. We need help. <laughs> That's it from us, then, isn't it? Yes. It'll be Friday tomorrow. Yay. Woohoo. Have a great day, guys. Bye.